you're writing this book out of a lot of personal experience. You, you're, built, you're, you're going to produce this movie, but you've written a book. Mm -hmm. uh, name of the book, um, Let Me Have My Son. Right. Yeah. And so maybe just tell a little bit about the history, the background, the writing of the book, when you first decided to actually make a movie yeah, out sure. of this story. Sure. Well, as I say, it was uh, 20 years ago or so that Daniel was diagnosed um, with schizophrenia. And... As you can imagine, very, very difficult uh, as a caregiver. A par no parent wants to see a child, his or her child, suffer that way or in any way. You know, it's right. very, very difficult. And at a certain stage, when I guess you could say when Daniel was 18, 19 years old or so, around that time, I began to feel the need for more support. And right. um, I'm a follower of Christ, for me, support is more than moral support, it's prayer support. Right. So I began uh, writing, <clears throat> I'll just say, prayer letters in the form of an email that I would send out to a few friends saying, here's what's going on, can you pray for me, pray for Daniel, pray for our family. And that list of people, through kind of word of mouth, if you will, began to grow. And so once a month, this prayer letter would be going out to people. and. I began to realize after writing those prayer letters for a few years that many people were being touched and mm -hmm. some of my friends began to suggest that they be put together into a book, letters I mean, be put together in the book because they felt that, you know, you going through this and describing the journey and sharing your thoughts and your struggles and the love and support you received, it can be an encouragement to other people. You know, 